the giant presence in Glendale. Hi, and welcome to the Daily Sports Update presented to you by Toyota. I'm Mary Wilson with CBSSports.com. Tom Coughlin decided to keep his football team at home an extra day, hoping to keep things routine. It was anything but for the Giants, who continue to battle possible complications from last Sunday's hard-fought win at the below-zero temperatures in Green Bay. A flu bug has affected a handful of players, the latest being starting cornerback Aaron Ross. The rookie vomited on the plane just prior to takeoff and is the sixth player to be affected in four days. Giants staff distributed precautionary medication to unaffected players and expect the symptoms to be gone well before Super Bowl Sunday. From Tom Brady's leg injury to the Giants' flu and so, so much more, we will have everything for you, big or small, right here at CBSSports.com. You will be completely covered. Our NFL experts Clark Judge and Pete Prisco will bring you coverage from Media Day, and that's just the beginning. Check back all week for interviews with players and coaches, past and present, and analysis from your favorite CBS Sports personalities. On to the NBA, where Chris Webber sent an email to the Associated Press last night confirming a rumor that had been swirling for a few days. He will suit up for Golden State, the same team he began his career with back in 1993, and will be playing for the same coach in Don Nelson. As a rookie, he clashed with Nelly, forcing a trade to the Bullets, now the Wizards, of course. But in his second tour with the Warriors, the coach is all about having Weber, who should provide a presence in the front court for Golden State, something they will need if they want to improve off of last year's shocking first-round upset of the Dallas Mavericks. And speaking of the Dallas Mavericks, they are currently looking up at the Red Hot Hornets in the Southwest Division, who won their ninth game in a row last night with a resounding 117-93 victory over Denver. Allen Iverson had 23 for the Nuggets, and Kenyon Martin had nearly a double-double, but it was New Orleans that lit up the stat sheet, just one rebound off a triple-double. Chris Paul dropped in 23 and added 17 assists and nine rebounds. The Hornets had six players score in double figures, including Tyson Chandler's double-double and Peja Stoyakovich's 19 points. The team got out to a 63-40 halftime lead, shot 50% from the field, and hit 86% of its three throws, making it look easy. New Orleans will go on for win number 10 against Golden State tomorrow. Undefeated Memphis still sits at the top of the AP poll, top 25 college basketball, which was released a Monday afternoon, but some shuffling did take place. Tobacco Road made its presence felt with Duke and North Carolina moving up to numbers three and four. UCLA and Georgetown are next, followed by Bruce Pearl's Tennessee Volunteers, which fell from third to seventh after losing to Kentucky last week. The Michigan State Spartans moved up to number eight, while Indiana's loss to UConn dropped them out of the top ten, opening up the door for Texas. Defending champion Florida is back in the polls for the second time this season, coming in at number 20. Michael Beasley's Kansas State Wildcats make it back into the rankings at number 22, just in time to face the undefeated second-ranked Kansas Jayhawks. Now let's take a look at your news and notes. Women's who fielded the most marquee matchup in terms of ranked teams on the collegiate hardwood Monday night. The Tennessee Lady Volunteers went into Durham and put an end to Duke's 24-game home win streak, 67-64. Kansas Parker hit the game winner with 22 seconds left for two of her team-high 17 points. Romeo Cornell and the Browns have agreed on a two-year extension that will have the coach sign through the 2011 season. The league's oldest coach guided Cleveland to a 10-6 record this season but just missed out on a playoff berth. 24-year college football coaching veteran Larry Smith passed away after a long bout with chronic lymphatic leukemia at the age of 68. Smith amassed 143 wins in his tenure with Southern Cal, Arizona, Missouri, and Tulane. He most notably took the Trojans to the Rose Bowl three times from 1988 to 1990, taking down his mentor, Bo Schembechler of Michigan, in his final appearance with the Wolverines. That'll do it for the Daily Sports Update presented to you by Toyota. Keep your mouth right here at CBSSports.com for everything you need to know in the world of sports. Stop, refresh, and rewatch. I'm Amber Wilson. Have a great one.